I'm Tom Schumann. The 2017 legislative session moved our state forward in a big way. Everyone wins with the $1.2 billion long-term road funding plan. The Indiana Chamber made this issue its number one priority because transportation infrastructure is so vital to attracting jobs and growing our economy. The payoff is improved travels with delays and vehicle repairs related to our crumbling roads soon to be in the rearview mirror. In this tight budget year, the state's pre-K pilot program still received more than double its original funding and outreach to students. Now, 22 million annually will help the most at-risk youngsters in up to 20 counties get off to a good start with their education. The Indiana Chamber has long pushed for making the Superintendent of Public Instruction an, an appointed position, as are all other agency heads. What we don't agree with is waiting eight years to make it happen and making a teacher's license mandatory. It should be the best person for the job. Never, nevertheless, this is a very positive move for making sustained education progress in our state. The multi-year I-STEP debate is in the books. The new I-LEARN will be a shorter test for grades three through eight and appropriately based on Indiana standards. Getting results back faster is a key emphasis. Preserving accountability was a battle, but teacher evaluations in school A through F grades remain tied to test scores as they should be. More money to the tune of $250 million is available for promising innovative Hoosier companies via the Next Level Fund. Another big boost is additional dollars to encourage more direct flights from Indiana airports to international and domestic destinations. These are all important steps to help improve Indiana going forward.